What's up beautiful people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your maths coach and today we are going to be going over ratios. The first question that we will be looking at is your typical ratio question where you have something divided into a given ratio. So in this question we have Ahmed and Richard who share 20 pounds in the ratio 1 to 3. How much does each person get? Now the first thing that you have got to be careful about or mindful of is the order that the names appear in the question and the order the numbers appear in the question. In this question you have Ahmed and Richard. So therefore the 1 and the 3 they belong to them respectively which means the 1 is for the first person and the 3 is for the second person. So what we will do, we'll just write A for now and R. We will write 1 to 3. We want to know how many parts to divide our amount into. So we have 20 pounds. We have to divide it into parts so that we can divvy out one part to Ahmed and three parts to Richard. So in total, how many parts do we need? All we will do is add up the amount of parts that we have here and we have four parts. So we need to break up 20 pounds into four parts. Each part being worth five pounds. So five pounds in each part. So now if we go back to the ratio, he, Ahmed, needs one part. So it's going to be five times one. So we will times this by five and we get five pounds. In the case of Richard, he needs to get three parts. So it's going to be times by five pounds because each part is worth five pounds and he gets 15 pounds. In this next question, we look at a three part ratio. So here you have Sandeep, Carolina and Frankie and they are aged 13, 12 and 10 years old. Now they will be sharing 28 pounds in this ratio, the ratio of their ages. Now, Carolina, she gives a quarter of her money to her sister. We want to know how much does Carolina have now? So the first thing we want to do is to know how many parts that we need to divide 28 into. Add up 13, 12 and 10. And here we get 35 parts. So we will divide 28 pounds by 35. Now, this answer will tell us how much is in one part. Okay, and the answer is 0 0.8. Now it's money, so we have to treat it as we do with money. Okay, so we have 80 pence, but because the original amount is written in pounds, we will write 0 0.8. Zero. Focus on what the question is asking you to do. This question is not interested in Sandeep and it's not interested in Frankie. It's interested in what Carolina is going to be doing. So Carolina has 12 of these parts. One part is worth 80 pence. So Carolina will multiply her amount by 0 0.80. And she gets, again, you can use a calculator to do this, nine pound 60. So with that, this is her share of 28 pounds. Now, what does she do? She will be giving a quarter of that money, nine pound 60, to her sister. Now we have fractions involved. We want to work out what is one quarter of nine pound 60. We will do nine pound 60, divide it by four because a quarter is four parts of a whole, we get two pounds and 40 pence. This is the amount that she will be giving to her sister. So now what we want to do is work out what she has left. So what does Carolina have remaining? Well, she originally had nine pounds 60. She's going to give two pounds 40 to her sister and that leaves her with seven pound 20. That is the amount that Carolina will have now. Now guys, the question that we have just done, it may be that it appears on a non-calculated paper. If that is the case, you will have to use your bus stop method or your long division to find this and 
anything else that you've used, whether it's uh, division by four parts or uh, taking away subtraction, you'll have to use your uh, mental uh, arithmetic for that. This next question gives you a demonstration of how much ratio questions have evolved from what we've just done previously to this. So let's have a read. Emily and Sandra share money in the ratio two to five. However, Sandra gets 45 pounds more than Emily. How much money did Emily get? Now, the first thing you will notice is that you are not given an amount to divide. So Emily and Sandra in the ratio two to five. Now, Sandra gets 45 pounds more than Emily. What should we do for that? Since we don't know what Emily got, we'll write down X, but we know that Sandra got 45 pounds more than Emily. So if Emily is X, Sandra would be X plus 45. And that indicates that she got 45 pounds more than what Emily got. We know that the difference between them is 45 pounds. Sandra gets 45 pounds more than Emily. In terms of the ratio parts, five take away two equals three parts. Knowing this, we can say that the extra that Sandra gets is the extra three parts. So therefore, 45 pounds will be equal to three parts. Now, if we use a unitary method, it's not important, that big long word, it's important how to do it, we can find out what one part is worth. How do we find, how do we go from three to one? We will be dividing by three. Likewise, we will divide this side by three, so 45 pounds divided by three equals 15 pounds. And there we have that one part is equal to 15 pounds. We know that Emily has two of these parts, and Sandra has five of these parts. Each part is worth 15 pounds. So if we take Emily now, we'll times this two parts by 15 and she will be getting 30 pounds. And in the case of Sandra, she has five of these 15 pounds. So therefore we will times five times 15 and she gets 75 pounds. So how much money did Emily get? 30 pounds. The question that we have just done, you will notice that I did use um, some algebra, but this algebra wasn't actually used. It was just to give you some understanding. Also, when there was a question that came up, the, ha the famous Hannah question, you may find that using algebra may be useful in um, different types of questions. And the aim here is to prepare you not for a question, but different types of questions uh, that may be posed to you. Now this question is not only a ratio question, it will involve percentages. Our methods will depend on whether it, this appears on a calculator paper or a non-calculator paper. But we will assume that it appears on a calculator paper because non-calculator techniques such as long division, multiplication, those are things that will be explored in a later video. Okay, Kerry's salary is 15,000 pounds. She pays 40% on rent and the rest is spent on expenses, clothes and entertainment in the ratio three to one to two. How much did Kerry spend on entertainment? The first thing that we are gonna work out is her rent. We are told that she spent 40% on rent. So we wanna work out 40% of 15,000 pounds. A simple way is to use the multiplier method. 40% as a multiplier is 0 0.4. So we will times this by 15 thousand to work out 40 percent of 15,000 0 0.4 times by 15,000 and that gives us 6,000 pounds so this is the amount that she spends on her rent next whatever is remaining from her salary so 6,000 take away from 15,000 so this is what she has remaining which is 9,000 pounds will be spent towards expenses, 
clothes and entertainment. And this is in the following ratio. So expenses is three parts, clothes is one part, and entertainment is two parts. We'll just delete all this because we need the space. So we will divide 9,000 pounds into three, one, two parts. So in total, six parts, which is three plus one plus two, we will divide 9,000 into six parts. Nine thousand divided by six gives us fifteen hundred pounds. So each part is worth fifteen hundred pounds. Now, once again, the question is focusing on how much Kerry spent on entertainment. Now, entertainment is worth two of these parts. So therefore, on entertainment, and we'll delete this again. On entertainment. We will do 1,500, and entertainment was two parts, times by two, and that gives us 3,000 pounds. So Kerry spent 3,000 pounds on entertainment. Right, on to our final question. This question appeared in a previous exam paper. Talil is going to make some concrete mix. He needs to mix cement, sand and gravel in the ratio 1 to 3 to 5 parts by weight. Talil wants to make 180 kilograms of concrete mix. He has 15 kilograms of cement, 85 kilograms of sand and 100 kilograms of gravel. Does he have enough cement, sand and gravel to make the concrete mix? The first thing you want to be doing is to add up the parts. So 1, 3, 5 is equal to 9 parts. So we want to divide 180 kilograms by 9 parts. So 180 divided by 9, we get 20 kilograms per part. Now the easiest way to actually do this is to look at each individual part. So if we look at our ratio which was 1, 3 and 5 and this was for cement, sand and gravel, we can just work out from here whether 15 kilograms is enough. So one part is worth 20 kilograms here of cement, three parts of sand is worth 20, so that's going to be times by three, that's going to be 60 kilograms of sand, and for gravel, five parts, again times by 20, five times 20 is 100, so 100 kilograms of gravel. Now, he has 85 kilograms of sand, and that's enough. He has 100 kilograms of gravel, just enough. However, he needs 20 kilograms of cement and he only has 15. So he would not have enough cement, meaning that he cannot make the concrete mix. So unfortunately, Talil doesn't have enough. Thank you for watching guys. Um, I hope you liked my video. I have been able to benefit you with something today. Um, if you liked something, then please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. And if there's uh, any topics that you want me to cover, then please comment in the comment section below. For now, goodbye.